This is Metro Manila, the country's premier urban center, with at least 11.5 million people working, eating, and residing here. Solid waste management is a major concern. Republic Act 7924, promulgated in 1995, mandates the MMDA to formulate and implement policies, standards, programs, and projects for proper and sanitary waste disposal management in the cities and municipalities in Metro Manila. While the local government units or LGUs under the Local Government Code of 1991. Are responsible for collecting solid waste in their respective areas of jurisdiction. Republic Act 7924 also mandates the MMDA to implement programs and projects intended to reduce, reuse, and recycle solid waste. Two other statutes provide the impetus where the MMDA pursues its goals on effective waste management. Republic Act 8749. Otherwise known as the Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999, prohibits incineration of waste that emits toxic and poisonous fumes. Republic Act 9003, otherwise known as the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act of 2000, defines and sets the parameters of solid waste management, segregation at source, separate collection of waste materials. Strict implementation of materials recovery systems, including recycling, and prohibiting open burning. This law empowers the MMDA to chair the Metropolitan Manila Solid Waste Management Board, as it oversees the implementation of solid waste management programs. It also points to the discipline associated with the requirements of an ecological solid waste management system, storage. Discharge and setting out, collection, transfer, transport, processing and recovery, and disposal of solid waste using sanitary landfills. Saddled with at least 7,200 tons or 30,500 cubic meters of garbage every day, the Solid Waste Management Office provides technical assistance to the LGUs in the management of such volume of waste. 45% of kitchen waste, 17% of paper, 16% plastic, 7% grass and wood, 5% metal, 3% glass, and 7% of other sources. As a source of waste, households account for 74.1% of the total daily waste. Commercial shops contribute 9.4 percent. Markets produce 7.6 percent waste output, while restaurants produce 7.5 percent. Other sources produce 1.4 percent. The MMDA promotes and advocates the three R's of solid waste management practices: reduce, reuse, and recycle. Specifically, reduce the volume as well as the toxicity of waste. Reuse in their current forms the materials recovered from the waste stream. Thereafter, recycle or recover materials for use as direct or indirect inputs to new products. The recycling efforts of the LGUs reduce the volume of waste disposed at the landfills. Aside from the major tasks specified in Republic Act 7924, the Solid Waste Management Office consistently promotes the door-to-door -door garbage collection system in all cities, municipalities, barangays, households, and establishments in Metro Manila. Specifically, the office is tasked to undertake studies, prepare medium and long-term plans. And develop strategies to cope with the waste management demands of the metropolis. It directs, supervises, coordinates, and monitors the general conduct of activities to implement projects related to solid waste management in partnership with other agencies or organizations. It provides technical assistance to the LGUs in the design and implementation of their programs whenever needed. 
The local government units assume the primary role in the management of solid waste. They lead in the implementation of the door-to-door -door collection system in the metropolis. LGUs deploy 10-wheeler dump trucks, 6-wheeler dump trucks, and compactor trucks. Solid waste management is a formidable task. The MMDA consistently assists local government units to develop their barangays into garbage and litter-free communities. MMDA, working for a Guapung Metro.